Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Princess telephone and it's in pink, but this is Susan's telephone from Kansas and this is a 10 key and if you notice here it does not have any star or pound so it's known as a 10 key so that's a very sought after uh, telephone and uh, it's caught in a period where they did not have star and pound yet right after the rotary and this telephone is a hardwired telephone so the line cord that they have going into it is hardwired and the handset is hardwired so it's a very cool telephone and so what we want to do here is some initial checks and this is the initial checkout uh, Susan has a note here it says get a dial tone or gets a dial tone but won't dial out so what we want to do here real quick uh, on the checks is we want to ring the telephone I'll go ahead and let that go a couple times let that go one more time give you some dial tone and then what we want to do is try to dial out and as you can see the analyzer it's never breaking dial tone and we still have dial tone here at the handset so what I want to do is I want to click the receiver once and I want to cause dial tone to go away and it just did now what I want to do is transmit into the handset and if you watch this red light here on the analyzer that's an indication of a hundred percent modulation every time that red light lights up one two three four five six hello hello so what we'll do is we'll get dial tone back give you some dial tone here and it does not dial out still has dial tone so what we want to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of this telephone we have it apart so we'll go ahead and unplug it I have the cover loose and this is a really nice pink telephone very unique color and uh, this shows you a little bit of the situation here of what this telephone looks like on the inside so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot the network and the keypad and we're gonna make a decision on what we have to do to make this telephone dial out uh, for Susan and we also need to contact Susan because there is a light in this telephone but she's uh, not sent the transformer in with the telephone so I'm pretty sure she doesn't have the transformer but uh, we'll talk to her about that and make a contact with her to find out uh, what she wants to do about the light situation but uh, a very unique 10 key telephone and uh, very sought after so we're going to take a short break I'm going to go ahead and go through the troubleshooting process and find out what we need to do here to repair Susan's telephone. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and so what we've done is we went ahead and installed our bridge rectifier, and we went through uh, all the circuitry and made sure all of our connections were proper. And in the earlier part of this initial checkout video, uh, we had talked about uh, Susan has a note that um, it gets dial tone but will not dial out and also she did not have any kind of a light for this telephone uh, she was missing the transformer and uh, I had since talked to Susan about that and I wasn't really sure if we wanted to go to some type of uh, an LED situation uh, for
for a light emitting diode or go back to her original light which you'll see right in this area and since she has her original light socket and the bulb that came with it um, we are just going to go ahead and utilize that because the way this keypad is constructed uh, I would prefer to use the original uh, design which has the light right in this area and in some other more modern keypads there's extra areas where you can uh, include lighting and since this telephone is a 10 key it's uh, missing the star and the pound it makes it a very sought after model it was kind of caught in between a design era and so uh, basically what happens is they only gave a little bit of uh, area for the lighting so we're going to go ahead and keep that original design the other issue was we installed for uh, Susan a plug so an electrical plug like you would have on any kind of a telephone or answering machine and the reason why we did that is because in the old days they used to run the transformer to the jack and come up the second pair of uh, the line cord and feed power to uh, the light and we don't want to do that any longer because we don't expect the customer to get into the telephone jack and wire a transformer into that so we make it more plug and play and uh, we'll give you a look at that so now all Susan has to do is basically walk up to this telephone and plug the modular plug into it and now we have our light so we'll go ahead and move everything back around like it should be and there's a switch on the back of this telephone that um, makes this light and I'll show it to you here real quick if I hang up the light is still being used as somewhat of a night light in the hung up position and when you take it off hook the light gets brighter now if you switch this switch when you hang up as I still have it hung up the light will go out and then when you pick the phone up the light comes back on and I'll hang it up flip the switch you notice it's somewhat of a night light when it's still hung up and then when you pick it up it gets brighter so all that is uh, squared away now for Susan and what we're going to do is some of our final checks so I'll go ahead and plug the telephone in and I want to ring it we'll let that go a few times let that go one more time give you some dial tone now if you watch the telephone analyzer here you'll see I'll walk through my numbers I'm gonna go to the two we'll do that one more time dial tone since there's no star and pound we'll hit zero and then a two I want to go ahead and transmit into the handset so if you watch this red light here on the analyzer every time that red light lights that's an indication of a hundred percent modulation on transmit one two three four five six hello hello so we know this telephone is fully functional now and what we want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it from the analyzer and I want to go ahead and uh, install our cover on this telephone now because we're finished up
kind of gives you a look at the bottom. This telephone's in very good condition and has a date code of 567. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead, now that we've installed the cover, we want to ring it one more time. Give you some dial tone. We'll move it over to a regular telephone line. Give you some dial tone. And we'll call, say, like a time and temp number.